Welcome to a Foxy Tech Tips tutorial on changing your keyboard background on iOS. If you find this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. There is no way of doing this on the normal iOS keyboard. To do so, you will have to download a keyboard app. So open up the App Store and search for SwiftKey. The full name of the app is Microsoft SwiftKey Keyboard. Download the app and then open it when it has downloaded. Tap Get Started. You can sign into an account if you like or you can tap Not Now. You can choose to share data with Microsoft to help them improve or you can choose No, whichever you prefer. On the next page you want to tap on Take Me There. This will bring you to the Swift Key settings. In the settings, tap on Keyboards. Tap the toggle to the right of Swift Key to switch it on. Then turn on the toggle below to allow full access. Tap Allow on the pop-up. Now that you have done that, you need to go back to the Swift Key tab. Tap and hold the globe in the bottom left of the keyboard and then tap Swift Key. Now tap Next. On the next page you want to tap on Themes in the top right corner. Here you have plenty of pre-made themes to choose from, such as animal print and lots of colours. But you can also create your own theme with a photo. To do this tap on the plus icon at the top right of the page. Tap OK and then allow SwiftKey access to your photos. Choose the photo that you would like to be your keyboard background. You can pinch to zoom in and out of the photo and also rotate it. Tap next when you are happy with your photo. On the next page you have plenty of customization options for your keyboard. You can give it a name at the top. Change the brightness of the photo with the slider. Change the key pop-up colour and also change the key background. Tap save in the top right when you are happy with your keyboard. Your custom keyboard is now created and selected. And when you open your keyboard anywhere on your phone, it will now be your new custom keyboard. You can create new keyboards and switch between them whenever you like. And that draws an end to this tutorial. Please like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to Foxy Tech Tips for more iPhone tips and tricks.